Just like the Chinese proverb says that you cannot prevent the birds of sorrow from flying over your head, but you can prevent them from building nests in your head. And for the sake of this video, we are going to be dealing with two types of negativity. The first one is internal negativity and the second one is external, negati external negativity. The internal negativity is what is breathing inside of you, what um, you it's all about you you are the one that cook it and you know serving yourself the meal but external negativity is as a result of what is happening around you so we are going to just deal with these two aspects of negativity and how to be positive in spite of everything Our next stop is external negativity. So how can you deal with external negativity? Like I said initially, external negativity are a result of things that are happening around us, what we consume, what we indulge ourselves in to bring about negative feelings. Okay, I heard a story about a man that went to work on a normal day, beautiful day. He was feeling fine when he was leaving the house and he got to the work not knowing that his friends had um, planned to prank him that day so when he entered the receptionist said oh bob sorry that is not the name for i just used any name he said oh bob what, what is wrong with you are you okay he said i'm fine he said you look pale really I, well, i'm feeling fine he said okay just take care of yourself he went to his office and his colleague the first person came bob how are you bob why do you look this you look bad don't you have enough rest? And you know, our three people came to meet him just one day that he wasn't looking fine, that he was looking sort of a way. And do you know that before 12 noon that day, he went to get permission from the boss that he was not feeling well and was going home. That is the power of negativity, surrounding yourself with negativity. And this, I don't want this video to move into mental health, but there's no way we want to talk about dealing with negativity that we don't address mental health. I hope I'll be able to do a whole video about mental health. But seriously, when you constantly consume negative talks, negative things, it, it shows in how you deal with life it affects you in order to deal with external negativity you have to number one deal with negative people and there are just two ways to deal with negative people is either you avoid them totally or you spend less time with them that's there's no way around there's no way that you want to say i want to manage it and let me accommodate the person they are my family members they are my friend and if at all you have to spend time with them you know that once you live there you are going to get a big dose of positive energy it's just like when you expose yourself to mosquitoes and you have to know that you're going to deal with malaria later on and that is just how it is you are the average of five people you spend time with if you want to be healthy spend the most of your time with five healthy people if you want to be a billionaire spend the most of your time with billionaires if you want to be informed spend the most of your time with informed people and my god the way you would get because we are the average there's no it's just like um computer system that they say garbage in garbage garbage out you are a result of what you consume on a daily basis if you are in a work environment that have toxic and negative people just tune yourself out is ever you build you already know that you're going to build a fortitude of positive energy or you learn how to tune out yourself constantly because no matter how much you want to say you are avoiding it, I can deal with it. It is getting to you. It is getting to you. And you might not know it now. That is the thing about mental health. You might not know it now. By the time you start acting out in the future or by the time things start happening and you start reacting actually to it, it's just a accumulation of everything you've absorbed over time. So learn how to stay still of negative people. Pay attention to your body response. 
And once you start seeing that there are certain things you're doing or certain way you're thinking or certain things you started saying that are not in line with what you want for your life, be sensitive to people you relate with, things you consume. That is the next thing. Next up on our external negativity is what you consume, which takes you to what you read, what you read on social media. The people you follow, the account, ah, the account you follow really, really matters. Like you have no idea how impactful the account you follow are in your life. Because you constantly see them on your feed. What they post, you constantly see it. If they are offensive information, you start picking them up gradually. Most of the time, I say quotes. Because most of the people I'm following, they are quotes people. And when I see a quote, I'm motivated. I'm writing it down. I'm jotting it down. What you see on social media really matters. On, in, on Twitter, what are the accounts that you follow? Are they inspirational? Are they offensive? Are they fun? In the fun, what are the things they are saying in the fun? Because several things are fun. But there are things that are positively fun. But there are things that are negatively fun. trigger me might not trigger you so you cannot expect everybody to like a particular information or a particular thing be careful what you see what you read in the news and what is happening right now in this age and time in 2020 who is going to have tremendous effect on our mental health on our state of positivity or negativity it will have effect so we have to be intentional about what we consume, what we read, the information we swallow. I don't know <laughs> if that makes sense. We don't swallow information, but the information we allow into our system. Because the thing is, the news is the same bad news. Somebody died. It's the same news they are broadcasting. And the way they will broadcast it at 10 a.m. will be different from the way they will broadcast it at 12. Will be different from the way they will broadcast it at 2. You will think several people have died. Not knowing that it's the same news they are broadcasting. But they just want it to be catchy. No, and it's having effect. It's having negative effect on people's mental health. So be careful. Don't wake up in the morning and you're listening to bad news. We have to be picky. We have to be choosy. We have to know what we want for our life and to be intentional about what we consume. That takes me to the music we listen to. I read an article and it says that we are vibrational beings. And you know music is vibrational. You know music set tune for several things. When there are several events that when they want to do it, they play a certain music to it. Music is vibration and so it affects us, it affects you. Be intentional about the kind of music you listen to. Everything is permissible to me, but not everything is beneficial. That means you can listen to their mus beautiful music you can listen to, their beautiful content you can consume, but not everything actually serves you, serve your purpose, serve why you're here on earth, serve your mental health. Not everything is beneficial to you. So learn to filter what really matters because music sets tune for our mood. The music you listen to is set tune for several things things we do and that is why we have to be intentional about the kind of music the kind of content we consume be intentional about it if you're on this channel you already know that we are all about intentionality the truth is every single thing you do make or break you have an effect in you it's just like a, a every piece of you is formed by every information you gather Imagine human beings are particles and every single thing you listen to, you hear, you watch, you read, make up your whole being because that is how our mental state is and our mental state is the one that is holding our whole body together. And the last thing I'm going to say is build a mental fortitude of positivity because the truth is the world is full of negativity. The world is dark. There's no love. 
there is brutality and it's like it's never ending from one thing to the other how you can survive in this world and be happy is by building fortitude of positivity beauty for yourself beauty for your mental health beauty for your families and your friends because you wouldn't be useful to anybody if you are sad every day nobody will want to mingle with you take a pen and plan out what you want to consume and what is poisonous to you the same way you will not drink acid you will not drink poison don't consume poisonous content into your body know where you're going know how your mental health is what other people might see as enjoyable might not be enjoyable to you because of your own state of health so know what is um beneficial to you and be conscious about consuming it that is all for today if you love this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you've not already done so and check out my other videos right here and right here you will love them join this community and i will see you next time bye bye